now for the roof let's choose the right thing make a sketch up on it sorry about that See, this is these two points have been darkened. That means their positions, they have positions that are completely defined and connected to the origin. Now, if we just try to drag things, drag the things like this, it wouldn't have been so easy. You see, and since it has an enclosed one, we could just you know pull the thing as well. And this would as add automatically a thin feature since it's an it's not an enclosed surface, so it is more being as a surface added in thickness. We'll be discussing that part when we just will be discussing the creating surface area. Now it's just using the direction tool as well and we could have just done it in a symmetric way much more easier using mid plane it means we just use a single dimension and both the dimensions are just simultaneously growing in this both directions and the part the type amount you type here is just divided into half and the two parts are traveling to the opposite sides so for the time moment we'll be just adding a little extra height to be used as a sunshed sunshed so let's see try some things like up to surface and choose the select surface means it's the mid plane options turned off and this one up to this and for this one it would have been chosen to be this part this face so this is the way and if we would cho choose the thing up to vertex any point like this It will have been automatically extruded up this height. And things as this thing is darkened black, that means it's defined, fully defined. And though if you don't want to be a single body of the entire extrusion, you just uncheck the margin. For the time moment, let's see what happens. See this there is no dif difference in these two parts. But let me just edit it and show it. And if we just uncheck the merge results, it would have been a difference, and you could see the difference. You see, there's a thickness added to this uh, for the time moment, like for the due to simplicity, I'll be modifying things a little bit. I'll be using the mid plane, simplicity, I'll be using. 16 meters, sorry, 32 meters. For a little gap in the both sides. For a little gap in the both sides. And if you know, I had thought that. We needed to add some more dimensions out here, no problem. Let's just go to the sketch, edit it, whenever we want it, and not using the relation. And since now we cannot drag because we, when we sketched, we 
took the snap of the point that made this defined. So for the undefin for reversing the de definition, we just hit delete to make it not converted or connected with the origin. Similar thing for this one. And we could have been could have done this that using this one as well since let me show you for that we could have just coincident relations could have deleted both of them from here as well that would have been much much faster All right just just add this to this one for that just a second we'll just make a reference since we don't make a mess with it if we double press things that's how if you don't want to terminate the command but terminate the point that's how it's done but if you continuously click, keep clicking on these things will just not terminate until you make a endpoint and if you see just I will turn even for the line it would make a tangent curve we'll just be, we'll be discussing in other example alright uh, let's see we add just some dimensions some relations These two horizontal shift press control and hit the relationships. And about this part, let's see this arrow thing. If we select the thing from the downsides. The part which the area that it covers, even if it just touches it, it just selects all the parts. But the opposite doesn't happen all the time. Uh, actually, not never actually. And this is true even for other CAD softwares like AutoCAD and SketchUp's. And uh, the interesting thing is that if the dragged area covers any sketch entirely, then it will select the part like this one, and it have covered the entire sketch and it has selected this so let's just delete this unnecessary sketch now all right now since these are two uh horizontal now let's make the sketch a little defined make this line and this edge collinear now as these and just you know Define. Let's see. Let's take a look at the sketches. And yes, as these two points and related, let's just relate them. This point and this line maybe coincident. All right. Now let's just make this sketch a little more defined. Let's make it six meters now. See, the entire sketch is fully defined now. So, exit from the sketch. Now, another thing to be noted that these sharp edges have been filleted. These have a quite a good effect on facts like um, in, in flow simulations and things like that. We'll cover the past later on. Now we need to cover this area, this gap. We need to put a extrude all the through around all this path through. So let's just do it. And another thing to be shown, let's just draw on this face. No matter how thin the face is, you can create any kind of face. You know, you can create any kind of drawings, and you can start any kind of drawings in any kind of 
flat surface. Let's just, now let's just try to sketch on this plane. Uh, to. Another thing to be shown here is this entity, convert entities. It just, whenever we select a phase and hit this one, it just converts the outer area of any phase. For this one, this sketch has been imported in this new plane. Since this is blackened, so it's visible that this area has been imported in this sketch. Now let's draw a line that we can afford to make it enclosed from this point to this one. And this is defined as well. Now we need to extrude this part. Let's do it. Let's do it from the sketch and extrude the area. Now the contours are demanding to choose an area. So we select this one. Switch the side. And maybe select this thing to up to surface and the surface would be like this one. There. And if we use merge results, see what happens. There's been no difference in these parts. And if we choose invert the selection and uncheck the box, let's see what happens. Now this is what happens. See? These two boxes are different bodies at the moment. Now, let's say we wish to make compartments in this house and we would like to have some kind of walls out here. So what we do is just that we could do many things. We could have done this in many ways. Let's say we want just Use this one as plane. There. Oh, maybe this one. All right. Let's check it out. This one. And since this is a little problematic, so we, we can use both two planes to use to be used as selections. Let's see. Yeah. Use this one. Yeah. Now, sketch on this plane. A wall. Of around. Point. Three meters. Now. Just screw it to the next. So this is up to surface. created now all we need 
is the doors, the windows, and some other feet, other entrance and exits. So we'll be showing those attributes in the next videos, in, inshallah. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.